We spend a lot of our lives on television, but earlier this year, you may have caught a West Michigan woman in the national spotlight cooking on the Today Show. This is big stuff. Yeah. Liz Dela Cruz won the Home Chef Challenge and got to fly to New York City, and she's here with us today. Good morning. Congratulations. We were all Thank rooting you. for you along the way, and finally... They revealed that you had won the challenge. Take us through that whole yeah, process. Yeah, let's start at the beginning. How did all this come about? Sure. Um, I entered the contest online through the Today Food Facebook page, actually. I submitted a recipe that I had already created for my blog, Liz's Lemon Bowl, and just figured, why not give it a shot? It's a great recipe that everyone loves. And I found out a couple weeks later I'd be one of the finalists, and America would vote. And a week of voting went by, and I was very nervous and excited, but our recipe got the most votes. So. Wow. Okay, so you're from East Grand Rapids. Yes. You're a mother of a five-month-old, but yes. you are busy cooking, and it's catching national attention. Yeah, absolutely. I just I don't think having a kid should be an excuse to never cook at home again or to let your you know healthy diet slide. So why not just you know take the time? You don't have to do everything at once. Use easy recipes that can be done at your schedule. There's no rush. There's no timeline. To do it when you can, and you know. So are you a right. professional chef, or no. I mean, what's your thing? I, I have a hospitality degree from Boston University. So I've always been in the hotel, hospitality, food, and restaurant world. Um, but I just love to cook. I grew up, my, my family's, we're all foodies. So I yeah. come from a long line of amazing cooks. So here's some, a couple of pictures of you on the Today right, Show. Tell us about that. What, was, what it like? was it like? It was so great to meet Savannah Guthrie in person. She's so sweet. And it was just so much fun to be at the Today Show set. I grew up watching the show my whole life. And it was really a, just a dream come true. Okay, so tell us about your point of view as a cook slash chef. Because sure. It really is pretty interesting, and I love the idea that really being healthy mm -hmm. in your food preparation is a cornerstone. Absolutely. Uh, I love cooking with fresh ingredients and just really making it healthy by using what you can find at your farmer's market, what might be in season, and using real quality ingredients. Lemon, olive oil, and garlic are really the key to most of the items that I make. Mediterranean, right? Absolutely. My family is Middle Eastern, so we love cooking with plenty of lemon and garlic, and it's great. You know, the Mediterranean diet is a diet people recommend all over the world for healthy living and I'm just very lucky. I kind of grew up eating that type type of diet and it's a really delicious way it to eat. It smells wonderful. It does. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking Liz, you're talking about it. Let's look at this. Is this the winning here? recipe? This is. So my pesto chicken with Swiss chard it was just something I came up with in the summer. You can get tons of basil at the market for very little money and I just bought a ton of it and you can't really eat it fresh fast enough so I make a ton of pesto and I actually freeze it. So how easy is it to make pesto? That's something I love I, to eat. I do too. It's very really expensive to buy. Mm -hmm. to the quality it is expensive stuff. to buy and it's definitely a bit of a rip off in the grocery store. Okay. Um, so we need to just buy it from you direct. Absolutely. Uh -huh. <laughs> or make it. Mm -hmm. Make it. If you have a food processor or a blender that's really all you need to make sure that everything's really finely well, blended together. What goes together. into pesto? Pesto is pretty much and granted it does vary but I use basil, toasted pine nuts, Parmesan cheese, fresh garlic and my pesto is a little bit different. I add some lemon zest as because well as that's lemon your thing. That's your thing. <laughs> no surprise there. Fantastic. Now, do you get the pine nuts also at the farmer's market? You know, I get them in bulk at Costco because it's just, a, they're extremely expensive Yeah, well. And they're my favorite. Wonderful. And if you freeze them or refrigerate them, they stay for quite a long time. Wonderful. So what are we doing here? So okay. we have some basic noodles. These are some whole wheat noodles, which okay. just gives your family a little extra protein and mm -hmm. fiber. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, this is some pesto and then a little bit, of, um, you can add a little bit of extra reserve cooking water from the pasta to create more of a sauce. Okay. And then you add in some wilted Swiss chard, which we've got here. Now, that looks a lot like spinach. Absolutely. And if you have spinach on hand, use spinach by all means. How are you wilting that? You pretty much put it in the pan where you've sauteed some chicken breast. You remove the chicken breast. Add in any leafy greens that you like. A little bit of the cooking water from the pasta. Put a lid on it. Two minutes. And it's done. The key to greens, don't overcook them. I was just asking <laughs> about that because the only way I ever serve spinach to my family is in a salad because I'm nervous about not cooking cooking it mm -hmm. properly. You say Absolutely. It only a couple minutes. Do you have a rule minutes. of thumb when you look at it? When it turns bright green, it's done. Same thing, broccoli, asparagus. The minute it becomes vibrant, take that out. You, you, the more you cook it, the, the more you're going to lose the nutrients. And that's ah, really the okay. reason we're eating these delicious green items. So no so. more I lifting the lid and poking with a fork no, and thinking I know no, what's going on. Uh -huh. And again, you can you can always keep cooking it. You can't take back the time yes, as well. Exactly. So, so you've really added good. in some chicken here. Absolutely. Some chicken breasts. And 
you just pretty much mix this well to combine. You could always add more or less pesto, depending, more or less greens. You could add really anything you want to this if you wanted to saute roasted red peppers, oh, whatever boy. you like. Your favorite finishing touch. I was going to say, touch. a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And these graters are great as well for anything from lemon zest, ginger, Parmesan cheese. It's a good way. Garlic, if you get it by the clove. Uh, absolutely. And then you don't have to wow. dirty a cutting board and make a huge mess, and you can just use as much as you need. So. That is wonderful. It's really delicious. I hope you will take a bite. Okay, or what we, did they think on the Today Show? Did the they love it? They did. Here. Savannah was so sweet. Uh, she took a bite, and actually, after the show, I got a few Twitter comments. Natalie Morales ended up making it for dinner that night. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah. So, it, so tell us about your blog because yeah. th this is one example of a recipe that you'll have on your blog, which you update a few few times a week. Yeah, absolutely. I just pretty much let whatever I find at the market mm -hmm. that week or grocery store inspire what I what I make for my family. I like to try. I like to make different items. I don't typically make the same three things every week. There's really no Taco Tuesday in my house. I just <laughs> like to create new. You things. mix it up every well, day. This is just delicious, and I can tell you. Brandon and I are both busy on the go yeah. moms. We like to feed our families things that are healthy, nutritious, yes. and inexpensive. Absolutely. And it sounds like your philosophy is buy things that are on sale mm -hmm. and won't go to waste. Absolutely. And this makes a fabulous lunch the next day. Oh, so wow. absolutely. Yeah. If you're going to work, instead of going out to eat for lunch, save money that way. I love to cook once and eat several times throughout the week. You could also freeze this dish. I mean, I have a five-month-old, so mm -hmm. anything to make life easier without sacrificing good, healthy, food that's tasty and delicious is pretty much what I'm all about. Well, so. fantastic. This well, is delicious. Mm -hmm. Your <laughs> best memory of the Today Show is? I would say seeing Hoda behind the scenes and when she saw my son and he has a lot of thick black hair and she just got really excited Aww. about it. It was just so fun to see her. She's so funny and sarcastic just like she is on the call. <laughs> so that's who she really is. Truly, same thing with Al Roker. Very personable. Very sarcastic. I said, this isn't just for TV is it? And they said, no, this is really how. That's who they are. They're, they're on TV are. many hours every day and every week so they kind they of are who family. they are. Yeah. Well Liz, we thank you so much and you're definitely going to make my meal time Great. a lot easier. <laughs> I'm looking to spice it up in my family. Yeah, I, I think add so. some lemon zest. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh -huh. That's a great key. Thanks, Liz. <laughs> my pleasure. Thank you. We'll be right back. Mm.